Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Sim Airport. Check that out. Two hundred and eleven thousand dollars nine hundred and fifty. And we have no loans. Oh yeah. Zero loans. I paid them off. I did basically just let the game run for a couple hours and then paid off the loans and here we are looking fantastic against that 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 cash money flowing in if you guys enjoy sim airport or cash money or that weird stuttering i just did don't know don't know where that came from make sure you show your support for the series by leaving a like leaving a comment leave something letting me know all right goals for today i don't really know what we want to do i, I would like to add another gate uh, i definitely would like to get some more uh taxi areas going on and i'd like to redo the most of this structure I'd like to bring all this out. In fact, that might be the first thing that we do here is bring this foundation out here. That's going to be $44,000 right there just to get that little bit of a chunk of building stuck out. That is nutso. Oh, man. Also would like to maybe extend this down and put the baggage down here. Uh, that way we can free up this area for traffic going to the third security desk that we're eventually going to build. Security checkpoint. And they're already building up like crazy. So that actually might be the first thing we do. Just to get these guys going through here a little bit faster. Let's go ahead and set that up. So we'll need a bag scanner. Actually, first let's do... Where's the metal detector? Metal. There you are. Alright. And people were telling me that these were set up backwards. But... Are they? Like, this is how it was set up in the game initially. Let's flip it around and see what happens. Oh, wait, we're not going to have enough room here. We should have enough room. So we got that, and then we get the bag. Nope, not bad. Bag scanner. Okay, just right next to it. Okay, and then we'll need a uh, security desk. Nope, what are these called? ID stand. Okay. ID. Nope, stop that. I'm trying to search. There we go. ID check stand. Okay, we can put that right there. And then we'll set up the queue for this. Probably be a shorter queue, because I don't think the queues need to be quite as long. They're getting stuck there. I don't know why they're doing that, man. That's so weird. Huh. All right, well, let's just do it like that for now. Let's go ahead and speed things up. Look at that. That happened earlier, and I deleted them. Hmm. It might be a bug that they're getting stuck like that. Wait, I wanted to build this one the other way just to check. Uh, destroy that metal detector. Destroy that. I like when you destroy the metal detector. They just they just go through anyway. They're like, all right, we're good enough. I accidentally just took a screenshot. That was my bad. So I wanted it like so. Let's see if that works better. Alright. Uh, <laughs> no, now they're going the other way around. Okay, now it's backwards. Alright, so whoever told me in the comments that my metal detectors were backwards, you st stop lying to me. Alright? People say things with such certainty. And like, oh, it drives me crazy. Even though they're wrong. Like, it's fine saying, hey, you should try this or this might be this. But people say things with precise certainty even though they have no idea that, that's one of my biggest pet peeves I'm like if you don't know for sure don't say you know for sure it don't seem like you do know for sure I don't know that's just me oh right, we got this section built up over here so let's go ahead and get the floor floor oh one over here there are already four hundred dollars just to do that oh we could definitely use a third ticketing counter I'm thinking ah uh, but it's gonna do that weird bug again isn't it so if we do ticketing desk look it won't let me put it there there's the underground conveyor is way over here the conveyor belt's going this way ah oh, it's so annoying ah oh, it's so somewhat annoying actually it's not really not really that big of a deal but whatever all right and then we'll just have this go do 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 do, do. how many do we have three okay yeah, that should be good so it'll be a slightly shorter line that's okay staff we'll go ahead and put a staff member there uh, hopefully they'll get to it once that is actually built Come on, buddy. Get that ticketing counter going. There you go. And staff member is now at it. We can go ahead and assign this to this queue. And it should be good. There we go. All right. So that should alleviate that a little bit. We got our third security checkpoint set up, which is, once again, a little bit full. That's a little bit annoying. Hmm. And yeah, it definitely was these things causing the traffic jam last time because I deleted these to move them a little further back against the wall. And people started building up here and then they were missing their flights. It was hilarious. Well, to me at least. <laughs> Probably not to them. Let's see, how much would it be? Probably a butt ton to expand this out here. Oh my god, yeah. $184,000. Which we're pretty close to. I mean, we're making a decent amount of money. We're making what? Yeah, 52000 a day. Well, 
fly ops income. Technically, I don't think that's right. Because we're making all of our flights just fine. Departed, departed, departed. Uh, gate and route scheduled. So we're good there. Uh, do we have any time in our schedule for an extra flight? Uh, they don't seem to want to do them super early in the morning. And then late at night seems to stop there. So you can't do them uh, between midnight and 3 a.m. Or 4 a.m. Unfortunately. Let's see. We do have a bit of a gap here. So we can take a night. We can take another night flight. We could do that. Alright, uh, let's let's try and find an evening flight. Uh, that'll be our 15th flight. So, evening, Atlantic Air. Okay, Boeing 6, uh, something, something, something. Didn't actually see what that was. Alright, hey, there we go. And the car is not rebel. Okay, that should work. Alright, so now we do have 15 flights. Uh, they should be able to come in no problem. Got plenty of gates, got plenty of runway. I uh, might need to build another runway soon. If these start to get busy, cause you'll see it pop up here. It'll say like, uh, oh, failed to reserve gate. What? No. Don't be silly. Oh, man. Okay, we might have too many flights. Oh, God. Yeah, there's way too many people there. Oh, we got too many flights. Okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, star flight. Where are the little planes? Beechcraft. Okay, we can go ahead and delete that. Let's remove that. Yeah, the beach crafts are the little planes, so we're gonna take a little bit of a hit from that. And let's see, star flights, Boeing. Hmm. Okay, which ones were missing? Because we did get a couple that failed the reserve gate for some reason. Uh, we'll we'll pay attention on the next day and see which of those happens, which of those fails to. Oh my god, and there's crap everywhere. How many janitors do I? Have? I have five janitors, and they're not doing anything, man. So much crap everywhere. Passenger satisfaction is going down. We were up to like 90% for a while. Look at all this vomit. God damn. Just, just clean it up, you stupid freaking janitors. And now we just got, we got like two people just hanging out. Let's send these guys home. I don't know why they're just hanging out in here. Send home. Get out of here. I didn't know I could do that. Just say, okay, uh, no flight for you. <laughs> you don't deserve it. Get the hell out of here. Now, this might be harming us. More than helping us, having this sitting area and these vending machines. We should really just try and get them through security. We'll see how this goes. Alright, cancel. Ran. Hey, that was us. We did that. Okay, so we'll just have to keep an eye on the other one, see if they have trouble getting gates. Alright, uh, third one should be coming in. 645. This guy should leave before that, right? Yeah. He's got eight more people. Get out of here. Five more. Come on. Get out! What are you doing? Let's go! Okay, all gates are full. Next one is coming at... So, that one's departing. Next one, 8.15. Okay, yeah, so we got plenty of time. Should be good. I'll just keep an eye on this. And there seems to be some sort of confusion about which ticketing desk to use. Wait, why is there no staff member there? What the heck? Okay, staff. Can you go there? Uh... Is this one... No, it's assigned. What are they doing, man? What are you guys? What are you guys doing? They're not using this one or this one. Okay, there we go. Now the staff members here. Okay, I think we got too many staff members there. Let's go to fire one. There were like two fire. Oh no, that was the only one. Oops, come back, buddy. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't know what I was thinking. Oh god, <laughs> now it's getting even more confusing. Okay, uh, to alleviate that, let's go ahead and try and take another. Uh, what are these called? Ticketing kiosks. Ticketing kiosks. Let's put a fourth one over here. See if that will alleviate some of that. Let's check on the statuses of flights. Departed. Yep, they're all good. These guys are all en route and... Hmm. Final approach. This guy should leave 11.45, so he should have left by now. Only 19 people have boarded, so... Uh, don't know where the rest of his flight is. So looks like people aren't getting here fast enough. Yep, so it's leaving with 20 out of 127 people. Alright, so we're definitely having a problem at the ticket counter. Uh, I guess we'll try and fix this tonight. And in the meantime, let's go ahead and expand this. That's going to cost us $39,000. Uh, let's actually do it like that. Whew. Ooh, baby. Alright, let's go ahead and do that. Expand all this. We're going to extend this into some more ticketing areas because I think that's our main problem here. Really having trouble with the ticketing. Alright, Pacific Airlines and Starflight both at 
18. Failed the reserve gates, huh? Okay, so. Uh, Pacific Airlines and Starflight. Oh, jeez. I didn't even... Oh, my God. I'm so stupid. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> I didn't realize that there were two on top of each other. You see that? It's kind of hard to see. Oh, my God. I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. Okay. Well, that'll f solve that problem, hopefully. Oh, I'm such a dummy. Okay. Uh, let's make sure it's not happening anywhere else, is it? No. Any other sneaky little flights trying to hide? No, I, th I, th I think we're good. All right, it's the middle of the night, so we have a good opportunity now to fix our ticketing area. So, let's go ahead and extend this out all the way to here. And then, heck, we can probably even do something like that. Uh, let's go ahead and destroy this bench and this drink machine. Get them out of there. Uh, the ticketing kiosks, those are probably fine. I'd, I'd like to move them right here, but I guess we could just do the desks right here. So let's go ahead and get the ticketing desks. Oh, wait. I did it again. I did it again, didn't I? Yep. Forgot to chat chat. Don't know why I always forget that. It's because you can't see it, and it doesn't it doesn't tell you that it's not attached. You, like, most of these things, if, they're, if you're not fulfilling one of their requirements, it does tell you, but this one doesn't seem to. It's very annoying. But there we go. We got that figured out. Let's go ahead and get some ticketing desks over here. Block by underground conveyor. Well, where is the underground conveyor? Because we don't want it to attach to that one, because that's coming back. All right. So we just got to keep it far enough away from that wall that we can put another underground conveyor. Uh, we'll just do those two for now, and then we'll have this conveyor go up here. And this one go here. So now they're all going there. That should be good. And then we can go ahead and set up the queues here. There we are, adding some more ticketing desks. Let's see if we have any workers here to actually work this. They should pop on as soon as we get that set up, right? Okay, conveyors are set up, and they're there. Cool. Yeah, I know we had enough somewhere. They were just hiding. Uh, let's go ahead and assign these guys to these queues. And you can go ahead and assign you to this queue. Okay, now they should be attached. Yep. There we go. Fantastic. All right. Actually, use the queues, people. Come on. Use the queues. You know you want to. There you go. Great job. Woo, people. People really like this uh, ticketing kiosk. Let's destroy that. That's definitely a bug. There they go. Okay, yeah. That's definitely a bug. Let's get some more of these set up. So, taking kiosks. Okay. Still one guy standing there, huh? And then maybe we can, like, scatter some more through here. Because they seem to do well. It's just people seem to be obsessed with them. So, we're going to add a whole bunch. I mean, there's a decent amount at the airport. I mean, I never to check a bag. I always use carry-on, so... Ticketing kiosks are my ish. And since we have so many flights coming in, I don't know if our baggage claim is, uh... Yeah. We might need to add a third one or something. Okay, some people did miss their flight. I didn't really see where the issue came from. I do like how they all funnel down through here. That's pretty cool. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do foundation here. And just grow this out. It's going to be $40,000, so... Oof. Yep. I want to do this. 148. Might try and save up for that next. And people in the comments were telling me that they need to do the bag scanner first. It's just weird because I've been copying whatever was here uh, when you first launched the game, but this might be wrong. So let's go ahead and destroy the metal detector. Let's do that. And we're going to move it. Oh, stop that. Nope. Oh, we're going to move it over here. Past that. Uh, like maybe there? Because that makes sense. You put the bag in, then you go through and you pick up your bag. Let's see what people are doing. So he goes through, and he's good. You go through, and you're good. Yep, people aren't turning around. Oh, she's turning around. And where's she going? I don't know where she's going. Yeah, only some of them turn around. Most of them are going through no problem, even at those ones. So I don't, I don't think that's the issue anymore. I think, I think that's fine. There apparently is an issue here with these freaking things. So we're gonna go ahead and just destroy these vending machines. Electric vending, get rid of that. Sell these supplies, yeah. Look at all these people, they missed their flight because they're out here trying to use this stupid vending machine. They're freaking idiots. Okay, sell all this. Sell all this. Janitor, come clean up this crap. These businessmen are just standing in. Businessmen with camo shorts or pants. <laughs> I like that. Got a nice jacket, nice tie, nice shirt, and some camo pants. It's a new style, I'm calling it now. Oh, sweet zombie Jesus. Look at all this. All right. Maybe we need more trash cans. Trash cans, are they bins, or what are you calling them here? 
Yeah, garbage bin, there we go. Oh man, okay, that's a lot of trash. Let's just let's just put these things everywhere. There we are, and oh baby, I just got an email. I just looked at my phone, got an email for Snake Pass. I'm so excited for that, guys. Oh, it's an awesome, snaky, snaky game. If you guys don't know what Snake Pass is, it's a super fun game. I just got an email, so uh, there's actually going to be a video going out the same day as this video. So after you're done watching Snake, or after you're done watching Sim Airport, definitely go check out Snake Pass. It's like an old Rareware game, uh, kind of like an N64 era game. You're this little snake named Doodle, or your name is Noodle, and you have a friend named Doodle. Oh, it's so cool. Definitely go check it out. I'm just talking about it now. All right, uh, let's click this wall. I'm just so excited for it, and I just saw my email. So I got to hurry and finish playing this game so I can go play Snake Pass. And then we'll go and do that. What? Oh, I thought I thought I was saying I didn't have enough money. I was like, it's only like three grand. It's because we were blocked by this thing. There we go. And then we can extend this baggage area. We can do a baggage area. Where the heck is the baggage? The baggage claim. There we go. Okay. And then we can go ahead and add a couple more baggage carousels. All right. Uh, blocked by Kenny, pending construction. Ah, uh, that's annoying. You can't stack construction in the game. It's a little silly. I'm seeing a lot of janitors running around, and they're not they're not cleaning anything. Guys. They're not cleaning the floors. I don't know why. Why do you hate me? Okay, they're cleaning the toilets. That's good, but they're not cleaning the floors. Okay, now yep, they're doing a little bit. Come on, come on. Chop, chop. Get to it. And hooking up the baggage carousels. Fantastic. All right, now we'll have all four of these ready. And these guys can spill over here a little bit easier. Fantastic. All right, looking good there. Looking very good. And I think to try and stop some of the uh, congestion here, we should be able to make this desk. Uh, sign two. Let's see, on the sign, uh, first class only. So let's try to make this queue just for first class. I don't know why people aren't leaving it. Oh, they're not going back in there, so... Maybe that'll help, because we're right by the door, so a lot of people are going right in there. So if we make this first class only, maybe then everyone else will spread into here a little bit. And I got tired of waiting, so I decided we'll take a loan, just to expand this out, because I do want to grow this. Go 184,000 smackers to grow that. Whew. Now I'm trying to decide where I want to put my other terminals and gates and runways and stuff like I could try and have this airport jut out here in the middle and then we could put another runway down here and some gates. I'm not sure what I want to do there yet. Oh dang it my area is no longer secure. Crap 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 crap. Okay. Uh, let's put that wall there. That's probably just temporary. Oh no it's not secure. Come on guys build 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 build. Where are my builders? Guys, oh, they're waiting for materials to be delivered. Okay, there they go. Any second now. Yeah, it is not secured, and it's secured once again. Whew, okay. That could have been bad. Oh, and it was bad. Look, they all missed their flights. Now they're all pissed. <laughs> yeah, the planes don't like it when it's not secured. Dang. And we're getting people built up over here in security again. So what I think I'm going to do is make a separate structure going over here to baggage claim because I'd like to it'd just be easier to use all this for security and then we can expand it out here as we go along or yeah that really bet hmm I'm trying to think of what I want to do let's see some of them are getting stuck at security people even using all these ticketing kiosks I might have gone a little bit overboard on the ticketing kiosks I just like saying it ticketing kiosks ticketing kiosks ticketing kiosks it's just it's just an enjoyable word all right, look at this guy. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> Some of the mobs being cleaned up. That's good. So I gotta figure out what I want to do here. Hmm, because we could extend out here and make like a fourth gate. We could do that. Uh, honestly, I'd, I'd like to get people on their flights on time, so I might extend this to more security. But at what point do I stop extending this? Let's see. So if I were to do foundation, hmm, let's see. I don't know, we could do it like right here. Nice middle ground so people can get out their flights. That way they wouldn't even go towards security. Let's see, so we could do something like that. Just like a tunnel. Something like that. And then extend this out. Not enough money. Yeah, instead that inst it, extend this out there. And then just have it go straight to baggage claim. Could do that. Let's go ahead and cancel that. Wait, cancel that project. Doesn't even need to be that big. It can just be like a two wide tunnel. So two wide tunnel needs to be four wide. 
Say goodbye to the ticketing kiosks. Way too many. I don't know what I was thinking. They were very popular at the time, and now that I got all these set up, people stopped using them as much, so. Oh well, live and learn. You know what? We're gonna invest in this. We're gonna get some body scanners. A more advanced alternative to standard metal detector. Yeah, we're gonna try this instead. And let's put them in front of the baggage area, so like that. Alright, let's see if this works. Let's see, what's it missing? Metal detector or body scanner? Yes, we need one of those. Let's go ahead and sell these. Sell these supplies, sell these supplies. So currently no one can get on the flight, so yeah, some people are going to be pissed, blah, blah, blah. It's the middle of the night, should be okay. Now our guys should get building. There we go, okay, security is all set up. People are scanning their bags, picking them up once again, and then going through the body scan. That guy looks like Stan Lee, look at him. <laughs> Shouldn't the body scanners be first? Because, I mean, they're taking the bags in there. But it seems to be working. Yep, they're scanning their bags, and they go through there. Scan a bag and go through there. They sometimes switch, but that's okay. All right, so I definitely think the think the uh, body scanners are way better. Yeah, I think that'll be good. All right, very very good. Over here, I still need a bit more cash. We can do like a one wide one, a one wide hallway for seventy seventy seven thousand dollars. So I will save up a bit for that. We can probably do that tomorrow on day thirty six or something. All right, now comes the real test for the body scanners, just to make sure they can work under pressure. We got a ton of people coming in, but I think they're holding up pretty well. It's looking pretty good. Yeah, this is looking real good. We could probably uh, fix these queues and stuff. The queues I don't, don't think need to be that long, actually. Let's go ahead and shrink them a little bit. Shrink a dink. Shrink a dink. Shrink a dink. There we go. Oh, uh, heck, let's just. Uh, wait, no. Expand the key, sorry. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Stop that. You go there. You go there. There you go. Now they're all symmetrical. That'll make me much happier. Alright, these are holding up pretty well. We got some people gathering. But I am going to add a fourth one today. Once we get this set up, just so I can, um... Yeah, we need this set up because we'll lose this kind of security exit here. That was long last week. She have money now, so we can do a little itty bitty tiny... Tiny hallway. It's gonna be one wide for now, but this should be fine. They can fit in one wide spots, right? I guess we'll find out. Oh dang it, me! <laughs> God, I keep doing that. Non-secure area. Okay. Uh, let's see. Do we want it here or here? Probably over here. Let's see. Actually, we could probably save money by adding a security exit or just right here. Ah, that'll probably be cheaper. That way, we only need one. All right. Come on, guys. Build, build, build. It's not secure. It's very insecure. And... And... Well, what? Why is this not secure? Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay. <laughs> it's been fixed. Fantastic. Okay. Now we can go ahead and slow things down a little bit and expand our secure area here. We can go all the way there. And we can completely tear down this wall. Like so. And get rid of these things. So, destroy, destroy. No, don't destroy the person. Unless they piss me off. Oh, and it didn't, they didn't cross the door. Okay, well that makes sense, I guess, because you don't want them in separate areas. There, now it's all one. You guys happy? You happy? Everybody smiling, everybody feeling fine? Let's go ahead and fix the floor there. Oh, don't you guys leave yet. You still got stuff to do. You little, little turds. Alright, now we can add our... Final, hopeful, uh, ID desk stand there. And then we'll do a bag scanner there. And a body scanner here. Don't have enough money for the body scanner. Dagnabbit, how much are these things? Uh, 5,100, okay, now we do. And that should be good, actually, it's all, hold on, it's all off by one. Eh, it's fine. <laughs> Technically, uh, it's not even anymore. Oh, uh, no, actually, cancel that, buddy. Cancel that. Oh, I cannot cancel it. Oh, it's going to drive me crazy. All right, destroy it. Destroy this too. Got to redo it all. We'll do it live. Yeah, it's plenty wide. See, people are using it. Looking good there. Uh, we could also redo this because I'm realizing we could just do one queue that shares all of this. Because I'm pretty sure that that'll probably be better. Because right now they're all piling in. 
Let's try that. We'll try it at night when it's a little less busy here. What the heck? I feel like since we added more, it's getting worse. Even though we actually removed a flight too. That's very weird. Let's go ahead and shrink all these down. Get rid of these. Do, do, do. Let's try and get people in a nice orderly fashion. So, uh, we could probably do like right there. Then have this kind of extend out. And we're going to make one super long queue here for security. And then they might just spread out. We'll try this. See how this works. See how it looks. See how it feels. Mess that up. That's a separate one. Come on. There you go. Alright. And then we just got to sign all these guys to this one. So now they're all signed to this queue. So the customer should just come in here and like spread out through here. Cool. It would be nicer if this was one that way or one that way. Ah, eh, but it's probably fine. Don't know what these people are doing. And there's lots of people just straight up ignoring the queue. What the? <laughs> Why are they doing that? You bastards. Do they not like sharing queues? Some people are trying to go into the queue and... Oh, there they go. And then they're just skipping it. Oh, that was a failed attempt. I didn't know. We thought we just tried out. Don't think it worked very well, so we went into some normal queues here. Just going to each one. Okay, yeah, that definitely works way better. It was just something I wanted to try out. Thought it'd be cool. And there's people that just stop moving. Like this, this jerk. Okay, get, get out of here. And there's people up in this corner, too. Well, hold on, what, what are people doing? They're like going up and around. And I don't know why. You guys should really only be going one direction here, okay? <laughs> that way. Okay, yeah, these people are all like stuck. Alright, cleared up that traffic jam. There's still people going through there. Why are they not using the freaking queues? I don't understand. Okay, do I need to put a wall there or something? Is that what you want from me? Because I, they, I really don't understand why they're using that. They need to get to these ID check stands. So they should use the queue. Build the wall there. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know what these people are doing. That lady just vomited. I saw that. Can't you guys just use the queues? I feel like it was working better earlier. Ah, this is something I'll have to work on, but I've been recording already for an hour and a half. So this is probably a full episode, guys. If you are still enjoying... By the many, 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 many problems. Make sure you let me know by leaving a like, leaving a comment, and let me know. I'll see you next time. Bye.